So, um, you know, I was a little sort of, uh, I felt a little bit strange about the prospect. I, I'm not the hugest fan of horror films. So this was a challenge for me to, uh, to, you know, watch this and come down here and do all this stuff. But, you know, this is where, this is where you shot the film, right? We're actually in the location. We are on mm -hmm. set. <laughs> <laughs> These skulls weren't here, just saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, can you, um, can you sort of set up for me, um, Predator, you know, your character and how mm. she kind of gets involved in, in, the, in this quest and finds herself down, down here? Yes, absolutely. Um, I play a character called Scarlett Marlowe, who is um, an urban archaeologist. And the premise of the film is that she's on a mission um, to uh, find something. <clears throat> and she's enlisted the help of a, of a friend. Um, we're never sure how they sort of met. He's called Benji, and he's going to, he's a documentary filmmaker, and he's going to document the, the, the whole trip. And then, um, and it takes place in Paris. Um, where, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to say, what I can. You can say, you can say the setup, I mean. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then anyway, so. She enlists an old flame <laughs> <laughs> to help her. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and some others, and we assemble a motley crew and uh, descend into the catacombs where I believe the thing that I'm looking for is, and uh, and as we go deeper and deeper, you know, things sort of start to happen, and then horrors ensue. Horrors ensue. That's good. And <clears throat> and your character George, you know, he's kind of reluctantly involved in the quest. Yeah, you know, he's a he, skeptic of the of the movie, I think, which is, is fun because I feel like that would have been me were it to happen in real life. No acting involved. <laughs> Skeptical and uninterested <laughs> in being a part of this group, yeah. <laughs> so do you feel like, you know, from that initial moment, George knew what they were stepping into? He knew what was what was down there and... No, I mean, I think George uh, is just sort of reluctant to descend into caves below the city. I think he, he, had, he took issue with that. Um, and I don't think he's as, as quick to believe in folklore, uh, you know, and, and, and I, it's sort of the basic premise of alchemy in general. And I mean, he knows a lot about all of this stuff, but in more of sort of this historical fiction kind of a way, I don't think he, he expects to find what she's looking for necessarily, right? Right, and I'm convinced that I, that I will. Scarlet is, is incredibly driven um, and um, very good at getting people to kind of follow her and, and uh, do her bidding almost <laughs> um, and so that is the kind of driving force of, of, of the film is this absolute need to find this this artifact um, so big you're being yeah, Art goes artifact back. thing <laughs> <laughs> well it's a big deal it you know it does all kinds of it does all kinds of fancy things indeed it does <laughs> um, and obviously a big you know draw for this film is these catacombs that actually exist under under the city of Paris um, you know, did you know anything about this labyrinth of tunnels? And how did you feel about the prospect of spending a couple of months of your working lives, you know, down here? I was, to, I was thrilled to come down here. I, I knew that the catacombs existed here and in other cities. Uh, I, I didn't really understand what they were or why there would be, you know, <coughs> you, um, you Google image Paris catacombs and some of the craziest pictures ever come up. It's just skulls and... <laughs> Bones and it's it looks terrifying, but I was interested to see to, uh, to to learn where they came from. I mean, it was it was these were quarries where they they blasted limestone to build things like Notre Dame and and all of these other incredible pieces of Paris came from stone that was down here, and then I you know and then you you dig deeper and you learn okay so in the 18th century the king ordered all of the bones in the cemeteries that were making Paris disgusting uh, to be thrown down here just centuries of of dead of of bones and. It's, it's a, the history of this place is, is fascinating. It's really cool. And, you know, <clears throat> pulling the whole story together, the brothers Dowdle is, um, you know, they've got a, a sort of heritage already of being able to work well in this genre of freaking the hell out of people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, when that all sort of came together, how did you feel about, you know, what kind of an experience this film would be for an audience? You know, the sort of, I the fear factor of just tapping into people's primal yeah, I yeah. mean, there was there was always going to be um, a lot of that, but I think with this film, it's very much more than than the scare factor. Um, there is a lot of stuff that happens before we kind of get down, and then um, I mean, I, but I mean, it is genuinely terrifying. When I was doing ADR um, in London, and they were on Skype 
in LA um, doing additional dialogue. And I hadn't seen any of the film and then a cut. This one frame comes in and I screamed and jumped <laughs> yeah, back yeah. out of the booth. And I could just hear them cackling in, in, in LA. So, I mean, it is, they have a brilliant way, the, the, ed the editing and the, the suspense given by the, the sound effects and everything and just the visuals are, are terrifying. I'm not a fan of horror movies like you, and I, th I think the thing that's going to sell me on, on, on a scary movie, it, it, it needs, you know, one of two things. There needs to be some sort of historical terror about it, because history can be scary to me, or some sort of psychological thing, something that's going on within someone's own mind, perhaps, or, or you know, delving into a person's personal past. And this movie has both of those things, which is why I really dig this, and I, I never really like horror movies. Well, I have to say, you know, with the sort of style of camera work, the, you know, kind of lo-fi, you know, head torches and head cams and, and all that kind of thing, and just the fact of the location that you're shooting in, it, you know, it was a, a bracing experience mm -hmm. watching the film. It certainly sort of delivered what you'd want from a horror film yeah. uh, in abundance. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the horrors are not gratuitous. I think there's, there's a lot more tension than there is, you know, boo which I think is, is what's really cool about this movie. I'm more scared if I'm anticipating something than I am if someone's screaming in my face. Yeah, I think that's the ticket, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know? Anticipation, intention. Yeah, the temptation of terror. Mm -hmm. <laughs>